There are many kinds of coffee, Daniel. There are a few. <clears throat> There's filter coffee. There's uh, instant coffee. A Starbucks coffee. Camp coffee that you make when you make oh, yeah. coffee and water cakes. <laughs> Who buys that? Be... Nobody buys camp coffee anymore. That's the no whole thing of the past. Coffee. You can get cafetiere and you can plunge your own. Plunge your own. And then there's something else that Dan introduced me to. Cold brew. Cold brew. Tell us about that, Dan. Well, I discovered cold brew having been uh, caffeine free for nine months. And uh, I was watching YouTube videos and this crazy artisan coffee maker was brewing coffee with cold water. I was like, what are this? I must make what some. What are this? And so I learned the art of making cold brew coffee. To make cold brew coffee, you need coffee, you need cold water, and you need a bowl. Big ass bowl. I recommend hot lava java. Six. That's a strong amount of coffee. The stuff I normally use, I, th I leave it in the freezer to keep it all sort of not drying out. I use Taylor's Rich Italian 4, which I consider to be a strong coffee. So this is too Half warm. a dinosaur. So you get your coffee. It's about 250 grams is about the right amount. Pour it into your bowl. Make sure that you pay exacting attention to this recipe because it can be quite tricky sometimes and I want to make sure that you get it absolutely accurate. So the coffee in the bowl, coffee in the bowl, you want to get a litre of cold water and just pour it slowly over the ground coffee. Can we have some cheesy porno sound effects there? Okay. That's good. And then you leave it 24 hours. 24 hours? 24 hours. You leave it but for 24 hours. It? I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> and the bowl has changed colour. That's a different bowl. It's almost as if we made it 24 hours ago. Although this, because we didn't shoot this video earlier, has been left here for how long? Three days. Three which means days. Which means that you have to pacify with archery. Pacified with archery. It has. So now it might look like a, a coffee boggy swamp. That's precisely what you want. And if you look at it long enough, you can see dinosaurs in the little coffee clouds. Coffee clouds. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining yumminess. Yes. So what do you do with that so, dirty caffeinated mess? So this gets put into another bowl okay. for a strainer. This looks labour intensive, Daniel. It is a little bit, but it's worth it. Okay. So. Here we go. Actually, what I recommend is using a towel. This does get a little messy. What's life without mess? Oh, yeah. I recommend getting all of that stuff out because that's a lot of. When I first saw this, I thought this was some kind of delicious chocolate pudding that Dan had made. <laughs> It's not a delicious chocolate pudding, so don't tell your children that it is, because otherwise your children will never sleep. So I'm basically just pressing down just to get it all out. And then what I do is I like to take a jar and a funnel, coffee filter paper, but you can use just a kitchen towel. So this is like mega strong shots. Mega strong shots. Now what mega strong what shots. What you don't want to do is just make a whole cup of coffee with this. No. Because that would be stupid. I think that might actually be a health risk, so we should probably avoid recommending that. Yes. <laughs> Although we just did, so that's what happens. And Dan and Rob cook. This is a kind of cookery. That's basically going to filter through there, collect in the jar. Delicious. Delicious. This bit that was spilled just there would be enough to caffeinate your average household pet. Would. Let me show you something that my buddy Pablo put together for me. This is to all intent and purpose a regular Cap 10. However, put some new pickups in it. So this is a Pearly Gates ASP2. Custom, custom. So I'm going to shoot that out against a regular Cap 10 with a regular pickup configuration. <laughs> I'm 
making mushrooms. Grounds for a good breakfast. <laughs> You've been thinking about that the entire time. We we were saying we don't have enough we don't have enough coffee puns. We don't have coffee puns. We just need a way to express it ourselves. I'm particularly enjoying the way this inscription looks like elvish on the uh, on this jar. Apparently, we should have made a lot more than this, but this looks like it might be incredibly strong. The so one interesting thing we've discovered about when you're waiting for your cold brew to filter is that you can use it as a, a rudimentary coffee metronome. Yes. One, two. Each of these drips could caffeinate a mouse. A little mouse. I could raise an army of sufficiently caffeinated mice. Mouse. 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 In the interim, this is what happened to my mushrooms. We're back and it's ready. We're back and it's... Yeah. We're about to get caffeinated adequately. So, as we were saying, this, very strong. Don't make a whole cup of coffee with this. And we're not, we're not about to do that in case you think we're the about to do that. The results will be hilarious. It will be really bad. <laughs> so what you need to do is pour about a shot's worth of coffee into a cup. That much. It's better if your cup has Rubin Masada and Hannah Bolton on it. Oh. You get your hot water and you make a coffee. This really is only for the coffee connoisseur. The reason we do this is because if you pour normal boiling water or very hot water onto coffee beans, it slightly mars the flavoursome beauty of them yeah, and they get a bit it, burnt. Makes it a bit bitter. And yeah, this doesn't happen when you do it this way. No. And if you don't like black coffee, I urge you to try this black because I used to hate black coffee and now I like it black. Black. Cheers. Yeah. That's caramelly. It is caramelly. It's really caramelly. I'm enjoying how caramelly that is. <laughs> wow. There you go, end product. That's the end of this short video documentary by Dan Davies and Rob Chapman here at the cliff. Yes, it's the morning, that's why my hair's doing this. Look at that, that's morning. You know, I had a headache when I woke up. I know I do. Cold drip. It's a miracle cure, you heard it first. <laughs> so, so yeah, cold drip. Cold drip. Uh, I recommend you give it a shot even for its uh, sedimental value. <laughs> <laughs>